Since 2004, the state track and field meet has been held at the Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium in Columbus. Named after the Olympic and Ohio State track legend, in 2006, the Jesse O saw a performance reminiscent of its namesake as number 9 on 44's Top 44 Boys Countdown cemented his place in the record books with four gold medals at the state meet. Joe Horn, Waynesfield Goshen class of 2006 track and football. Six time state champion in track, led Waynesfield Goshen to their first state title scoring 32 and a half of the Tigers 51 points in 2006. Nine times all Ohio in track, four state titles as a senior, the 100, the 200, the 400, and the four by two. One of just nine athletes to win four golds in the same state track meet. Holds five Waynesfield Goshen school records. First team all NWCC in track, basketball, and football. Joe Horn was really one of the first athletes I got to know personally because that was my first year at Sports Report, 2005, 2006. Knew him a little bit from football season. In fact, we did a story on Joe's family moving to Waynesfield and what high expectations they had with the Fetter family. It was going to be a big year for the football team, and it was. They had a great season for football uh, that they hadn't had in quite some time. And I, I still think Joe Horn might be one of the best track athletes I've seen pound for pound in this area because he could show he could do about any event. Obviously, I ran in the, in the Horn family; they all could do about everything. But Joe was not very big, as compared to Gray, he was a lot smaller. Um, obviously, had a great football career at Ashland, great track uh, career. He was just one of those rare athletes that um, you, you look at him, you think, "Wow, you know." Four gold medals in one weekend, but he was amazing. Just simply amazing. That state meet I will never forget. My first time ever at Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium. And Joe had a chance to score 40 points, 30 by himself, and then another 10 with that 4 by 2 relay. You know, he was so far behind that final leg. I think he had to make up like five seconds on the guy in front of him, had to pass three or four guys. And sure enough, here comes Joe Horn down the final stretch. Thousands of people rooting him on, and that helped clinch. Uh, the title. I remember Joe just laying up against the tent, and one of the first words he said, or one of the first things he said to us was, boy, I'm tired. You know, the guy just won four events. And the amazing thing, a lot of people don't realize, the 400-meter dash, I don't think he started doing that until later on in his senior year. I can remember him, I remember Coach Everly at Waynesville saying, you know, we're going to throw him in the 400. And, and by gosh, he went down there and won the 400-meter dash. And if anybody's watched the state meet to win, they won four events all together, but won three in that one afternoon, probably within a two, two and a half hour time span. 80 some degrees, I remember it was a hot day. That was an incredible feat. And Joe Horn, to me, was maybe the fastest of the horns, although, you know, his cousin Gray might argue the point, but Joe was truly a speed guy, and as was evident by his success uh, on the court, or on the track, I should say, but he also had the ability to impart his knowledge to others as we have seen and heard in recent years. Uh, but he's done it in different sports to, uh, to extend that speed and to be as good as he, he is in football as a wide receiver also over the years just shows that he understands sports in general, but he really understands people and how to work with them, both as an individual athlete in track and field and also in the team concept, which to me is a heck of a tribute. Horn went on to play football and run track at Ashland, setting records on the gridiron and earning All-American honors on the track before signing with the NFL's Indianapolis Colts. Joe Horn, number nine on 44's top 44 male athletes. After working the last several seasons as an assistant football and track coach at his alma mater, Joe Horn is now an assistant at Tiffin University.